welcome Coral Reef Aquarium School Basic. Today is an extra episode and we will be talking about the first upgrade being the automatic top of unit. Now as you will notice during the curing period um, water in your aquarium starts evaporating and this is fresh water. As we know uh, salt doesn't evaporate uh, typically stays put and that means that the water remaining you have salinity is increasing. Now also worth mentioning is that evaporation is higher in winter time than summer time. It, is, uh, it goes maybe against the expectations but the reason being is that the main driver of evaporation is in temperature it's actually the moisture content in the air and the air is typically a lot drier indoors during winter time than summer times. Okay, so as you remember from the salinity episode, stability in salinity is very important. So we need to keep uh, replenishing fresh water into our aquarium to avoid salinity becoming too high. Now to do that, there's a system known as or retail as an automatic top off unit. And it's a system that sends the aquarium level and here I think it's recommended to put the sensor to sense the lowest point of water in the aquarium which is typically on top of the return pump. And then with a pump unit and a freshwater container this automatic top off replenish the freshwater automatically once the um, sensor sends a lower level than what you've set. Now, you also need to know that with an automatic top of unit there is a risk that if the sensor malfunction you can flood your aquarium and that is typically very unpleasant and if not flooding it you could have the problem that actually salinity gets very low in the aquarium and starts stressing your coral and your fish. So due to this I would recommend you to have a redundancy of your automatic top of unit. So typically you select one where you have a two sensors set up. One to sense the level and one to sense uh, overflow. So if this one sensing a low level and it's malfunctioning, at least you have the second sensor as a safety or fail safety for an overflow. And I also would like to go further to state that it would be preferable to have two different technologies for the sensors. And I will show you an example later in a practical session. And before leaving the sensor, it's also very important to mention that you need to maintain the sensor, keep it clean. Some sensors, if it's optical, you need to uh, wipe the lens of that sensor. And if it's a mechanical, like a floater, you need to make sure that there doesn't come bacteria or uh, other gooey stuff that uh, hinders the movement of the mechanical sensor. Okay. Now, uh, on redundancy, before leaving that, I also li like to mention and give the tip that if it is possible for your aquarium and your aquarium layout, and it makes sense, then the third um, best safety versus flooding of the aquarium is that you don't store more fresh water than the aquarium can take before it starts overflowing. So uh, of course there are different types of knowing how much water can my aquarium take and you can measure, you can calculate or you can even check how many liters can I add or how many gallons can I add before it starts to flood. And then that is what you keep in your freshwater container. It doesn't make sense all the time but if you're able to do that, that is the best safety versus flooding. That said about automatic top off unit, we will face over to the practical session where we have a look at uh, some uh, automatic top off units and how it looks installed in the project tank. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, for the practical session about um, automatic top off, I would uh, like to start showing uh, my favorite top off unit being the Tunsa Osmolator 3155. Um, I think one of the reasons why it's my favorite is that it is a two sensor layout. So it has an optical sensor that sends the level and then it has a 
mechanical floater um, to sense the overflow. Now, why I like this is that the optical sensor, it's quite easy to maintain. You clean it off regularly and uh, then it functions uh, for you very well. And then uh, typically the overflow, uh, the, um, the flotator, you, you keep it above water and uh, then you just check it regularly manually you'll just pull it up and then you hear a buzz from from the unit stating that it's high level something is wrong so you can check very easily that this unit is working um but uh yeah unfortunately this is comes very pricey so we will not use it for uh, for our tank and also actually the fill up uh, pump is uh, quite big instead we will use a D and D compact automatic top off. So I will show you a picture here on where it's installed. It has a very compact um, fill pump, and uh, it has also a very compact sensor. Um, it is a two sensor optical layout. So there's uh, one optical sensor sensing uh, the uh, level of the aquarium and then another one sensing overflow so there's two sensors but it is on the same tank this unit i've been using it before in another aquarium and so far the only problem i've had with it is that uh, some of my snails when they start grazing over the sensors because i kept it in an area where the snails could access uh, the uh, sensor uh, actually the unit flooded the aquarium but I didn't get any overflow from the aquarium because I had a margin. But here in this setup, it will sense in the um, filtration area and I don't plan to have any snails there. So I think it's going to work perfectly. That said, thank you for your attention and I wish you a pleasant evening. Bye bye.